What's up guys? I just gained more than 100 subscribers in a week. So what? Oh my god, I'm so happy. videos I talk about relationships I talk about politics I talk about my life in the UK so in this video I'm gonna be talking about how I got 100 subscribers actually more than 100 subscribers in a week so guys you know how when you're starting a YouTube channel and you don't really know what to do with the channel you really want to study but you don't know what content to put out there well guilty as charged so I started my channel somewhere around August last year and when I started I was posting content about you know uh, beauty as well as uh, hair so anything to do with makeup and things like that and I did ask my friends on Facebook my family to like subscribe so it took some time for me to hit like got 100 subscribers the, the hundred the goal the hundred and I thought when I hit the 100 subscribers, things are gonna like get a little bit easier. Well, it did not. So when I got to like 100 subscribers, I thought, okay, this is it, it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and hit a thousand subscribers. Well, it didn't get easy at all. I'm gonna be telling you, like I said, what to do, how to grow your channel, and what you shouldn't do in order for you, your channel to grow okay so the first thing i want to talk about is knowing what content you want to put out there it's the first mistake i made is not knowing my content so for example i started with the beauty uh, channel like i started talking about doing some makeup but i forgot that when you put such content out there you take some time to fume upload and things like that you're competing with big big youtubers like those big beauty channel YouTubers, those are the ones you'll be competing with. So the likelihood that um, those loyal subscribers will like will likely to you know watch your content is like two or three percent because there's so many beauty channels out there, so many people doing hair videos and things like that. And obviously, you want to channel your content whereby every gender will be able to watch your content. So I'm talking of male. Other males that do beauty channels also watch your content but those are like already established makeup artists so that's the challenge you're gonna face and that's the challenge i faced i could get like maybe 100 150 you know 200 for me that's most views i could get because obviously i'm just starting and i don't really know much about makeup so i'm trying to get into it i'm trying to start but there's already you know like big brands and their customer loyalty, I would call it like, you know, it's like marketing, you know, when you want to like buy a product from a certain uh, company like Nike, obviously it's already got customer loyalties that will go there without even thinking twice to like buy Nike, you understand? Same with YouTube. YouTubers have got like loyalty, like subscribers that are loyal to their channel. Immediately they post, the subscribers are on to the video on to their videos you know what i mean so i did when i stopped uploading for some time i thought of what i could do to like you know um grow my youtube channel and obviously you know i've got so much to give out there i've got so much information that i want to share with people so i thought okay fine i'm gonna bring out my personality because i think i was hiding behind the camera i was kind of just doing about hair and beauty and you know and people want to see some personality in you so what i did i started bringing out my personality things i'm interested in putting it out there speaking my mind because i'm that kind of person that speaks my mind so i thought right first thing first i'm gonna bring out my personality and i'm gonna learn how to make 
good videos like good quality videos because if you see my videos i still have them i haven't deleted them like way way back like the quality wasn't that good the editing wasn't that good but you as you learn as you go on you learn so i'm not professional right now but i think i've improved in terms of quality i'm getting feedback to say oh your videos are really improved the quality is nice and that's good for me thing i'm getting somewhere you understand that's what i did i worked on improving my um, video quality i also worked on my content that i want to put out there so i brought out my personality and i started talking about interracial relationships things like that things that people can relate with every gender can relate about relationships all right especially for me i'm in an interracial relationship so i started talking about the experiences what goes around in such kind of relationships and i saw a spike in views and i saw bit by bit subscribers started subscribe not until i did a video of you know the economic the political because i'm interested in politics and things like that so i spoke my mind and how i see things so i i spoke about the political situation in my country the social injustice as well as you know the economic situation with this covid and everything like that and a lot of people came to view that video and that's when i saw growth on my channel Another thing that I want to talk about that I did was also to not do sub for sub and that's why I think because I don't have a large follow, following on my social media account which is like Instagram and things like that so when I ask people to like oh I've started a YouTube channel can you subscribe a few subscribe like just a handful should I say most of them didn't but that's not their fault you can't blame people for not subscribing to your channel you understand so I thought I should stop advertising on Facebook and I stopped instead I started promoting my channel on YouTube okay that's the trick that I did so when I say promoting your channel on YouTube I didn't promote my channel sub for sub never do sub for sub because all that that does it will get your subscribers to like a thousand subscribers but then you don't get your watch hours because on youtube you need subscribers as well as watch hours those two go hand in hand so i never did sub for sub because what happens when you do sub for sub others they go and subs and unsubscribe as soon as they do the sub for sub others won't even watch your content so at the same you have that large number of subscribers but then you only get 100 views 200 views you're doing basically you're doing fuck all let's talk of promoting your channel now when you're promoting your channel on youtube first of all when you upload your content on youtube youtube is already advertising on your behalf like it's already showing the people that would actually be interested in your content so say you upload something beauty related rating to beauty there's some, somebody else who's done the beauty channel which is perfect and super nice and perfect thumbnail, perfect video quality, perfect editing people are likely to like watch their video before they could even click on yours so you need to work on that as well but if you're talking about things like relatable issues like travel vlogs or you know such things like lifestyle videos relationships things relating to politics people will just click there to get some information you know because information is also people on youtube specifically go on youtube for specific information i did for me when i started uploading content that uh, is related to you know the lifestyle life in general youtube started showing me videos relating to my content so for example there's nev media i saw his content and i had interest in his content because he was giving me some information that i can access for some in the uk when i clicked on him i didn't ask him to do sub for sub because another mistake if you if you're asking somebody who's got more than 10,000 subscribers to sub to your channel with just 200 subscribers, it's impossible. They don't give a shit. They don't care. You understand? So, I was 
interested in his content and I thought, okay, I'm getting information. So I subscribed. Then I used to, I am like commenting on his, um, on his content, on his videos. I comment like I'm speaking my mind in the comments. So when you do that, you are actually interacting with the owner of that channel without actually asking them to subscribe to your channel. You understand? Then they'll see the confidence in you, I think. And then what I used to, what I do, not let me just say what I used to do, what I do, I'll comment and everything like that. The people that are likely to subscribe to your channel are those subscribers they already have. So if you're asking somebody with 10,000 subscribers to subscribe, it's impossible. So I would comment and then I would maybe say, if you're interested, watch this video about this and this and this. And anybody who's interested will click on that link to that video and they'll, if it's good for them, they'll watch it. If it's not, it's not watch. So I'm not asking people to subscribe or forcing them to subscribe, but I'm actually putting out my content out there to say, if you're interested, what you can watch this video on top of youtube recommending my videos to other videos and then i started seeing 2000 views started seeing like in five days 600 views for me that's big 2300 views 1300 views for me that's like you know in like a month that's big because i used to have like 200 in a month you know that's when i saw what people are really interested in and that's how i channeled my channel thing I want to mention this is a tricky thing a subscriber you know the subscriber account that shows on your YouTube channel I think you need to hide that because it's psychology you know you have to play around with people's psychology you know how people are people will come to your um, to your channel page and they will be interested it's not like they're not interested they will be interested in your content but just seeing the small number of subscribers, they'll feel lazy to subscribe. It's like, you know, I'll do it later. And that's how they'll go. But I think when you play around with people's, you know, way of thinking, the psychology and things like that, turn off that and just see how much subscribers you're going to get. Just turn off the subscriber count and then put the content out there. Promote the way I said you promote. Don't ask people to like. Don't push people to subscribe to your channel. Don't. Improve your content, improve your thumbnails, improve your video quality, imp you know, know what you wanna talk about and that's how people are gonna subscribe to your channel. So when you hide that subscriber account, you're playing with people's so good. somebody will be like, oh my God, I love this person's content. I don't wanna miss out on their next video. So they will click, okay? I've even stopped asking people to like subscribe. You know, when you do videos like, oh, subscribe to my channel, what, what, what. If my content is good and it touches somebody, they'll subscribe. So I'm letting my channel grow organically. And I've seen a spike in this one week with the current videos I've put. I've, spe I've seen a spike in my subscribers. Try these tricks and let me know how it goes if you're a small youtuber or if you're thinking of starting a channel just try this trick and make sure you really know what content you want to put out there it's the mistake that i made and i saw my channel wasn't growing and you're competing with big brands don't forget whatever content you put on facebook maybe somebody already has spoken about that one especially with beauty and hair channels so you're competing with big big brands big influences so just know how to you know brand yourself so this is me branding myself and I've seen positive outcome I've stopped beauty air videos no I'm putting out something out there reality what people want to know in life this video has been helpful enough and I hope we grow together I hope we you grow your channel because we're all on the same path and things like that and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video video i'll be talking about zambian youths taking up leadership not even just zambian youths i think youths should start taking up leadership roles so that's my next video watch out for that video and i'll see you guys in my next video and thank you so much thank you so much for my subscribers i love you guys thank you so much i really appreciate the love take care and god bless you